hey there. Girl, I did not even see you. How you doing? I have a problem with shopping. Today's payday. And I quite literally may have bought several sections of the mall. Be that as it may, I have to share it with you guys. So, without further ado, here comes the super mega haul of the century. If y'all don't have a Chick-fil-A in your area, you're so missing out. This lemonade is crap. They're like dolphin tears in that lemonade. Like, I think when Jesus wept, they may have had someone there on scene to capture a microscopic, microscopic fraction of his tears and preserved it and then put that into a laboratory and manufactured this lemonade from it. It's that good. Anyway, so a um, couple things. One, I'm wearing the new Shea Moisture Liquid Foundation. And I have to say, um, I know I hauled it in my previous video. I am not a fan of this foundation. It, it's, it's some kind of coverage. I mean, whoa, it literally, literally, all you need is like a damn, like not even a full, just, ooh. You need so little of this foundation. I literally had to blot it off because one pump was still too much of it. But, and then in the transfer, oh my goodness, like you need a setting powder, you need a setting spray, and then you need to not wear any kind of high collared shirts when you wear that foundation because it literally got everywhere. It looked really pretty. And a couple of you that follow me on Snapchat, you saw that, you know, it, it, it does look pretty, but I did mention it's something else. So um, I'll have to say, no on that foundation but i ain't gonna throw it away you know, we, we still gonna make some kind of use out of it so all right <clears throat> we're gonna start off with ulta <laughs> listen there's so much in the clearance section i didn't need to buy all right so let's see we have this is adorable so I am going to send, because um, I've got a lot of people and a lot of friends in different areas of the country and I'm going to be making a trip to the post office this weekend. So I like to put little treats and, you know, the samples and stuff that I get and everything like that too that are like way too fair for me, but I think may benefit you. Look out for that. Okay. Okay. Anyhow, so I, this, just a little memo pad. It's got a cute little keychain pin in there. Damn adorable. What else do we have? We have lashes these are self-adhesive lashes and i want to practice with these first and foremost and actually getting the adhesive and then getting the glue and sticking it on there and blinding myself so i failed miserably with the last pair so this is why these are two dollars hey so i got um what are these yep both pairs this is that they had in the clearance section this is by a company called andrea ready lash And then, what else did they have? And then I actually did get a another Andrea pair. Was this also in the clearance section? Yeah. So, I don't know. Um, but I'm gonna try them, because you know, with as better as I'm getting an eyeliner, I know that some of my looks would really look just absolutely steal your man fierce with some extra added lashes. Even though I'm blessed with lashes too, I just, you know, wanna try them just to enhance them. And if it doesn't work, then I know clearly I don't need lashes. All right, next up from the clearance section, -na -na -na. another foundation because I don't need more foundation. Um, this is CoverGirl Ultra Smooth Foundation in the color Soft Sable. Um, it also has Olay mixed in with it. And it has a neat little applicator, apparently. Does it? It does. How very interesting. Looks like a nipple. Whatever. Yeah, I don't need a foundation applicator. Do you know any damn brushes I have, CoverGirl? All right, whatever. Next up, pencil sharpener. Can never get enough of those. Um, as usual, representing for the naturals, Shea Moisture Products. This is the Yucca and Plantain Anti-Breakage Strengthening Styling Milk and Anti-Breakage Frizz-Free Shine Mist with Biobab Oil and Cilantro Extract for frizzy, split, and breaking hair. 
because when I take my hair down from this puffy mohawk thing, it's going to need some hella, hella moisture. And then a couple things that, oh, also African black soap toner. I actually, I can say this. Um, ladies, you cannot wear pretty makeup with ugly skin. Doesn't matter how awesome your talent is. You have got to take care of your face. Make sure that when you take off your makeup at night, you're doing more than just wiping it clean with a makeup wipe, that you have a makeup remover, um, or that you're following up with some type of makeup cleanser as well too, that you are exfoliating some type of intense moisture later in the week or something like that. But this toner, every single day I use this toner. I love the hell out of this, really do. And then I also got, because NYX is a great drugstore brand, some Shine Killer which is a uh, mattifying primer. Professional potion to eliminate the look of oil and shine so face stays matte and fresh all day long. Use as a base, wear it alone, or over makeup. That's really interesting. And then also, because I actually, I hit pan on my contour kit. Like, I don't use any of the other colors in there, so. I got another cream highlight and contour palette that they have. I'm really excited because I'm already kind of chocolatey anyways, but some of these shades look super damn dark. And I love it. I'm really excited about that. I also got the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Ginger Snap. Looks like kind of a neutral-ish nude kind of brown. Please disregard my nails. I'm going to get them done this weekend. <clears throat> and then, what did they do? What did they do? And then I forgot that the Kardashians had everything out of there. Yep. I forgot that the Kardashians had a makeup line at Ulta. And <clears throat> Normally, I really wouldn't indulge or support anything that has to do with the Kardashians, but it was $3, come on down. So this is 100% vamp. Mmm, because y'all know how I am about vampy colors. Not bad, not bad at all. Let's see, and this one is Make Me Tonight. <laughs> okay. Also, very vampy. Okay, so that one is 100% vamp. That is Make Me Tonight. Then let's get the buttercream. Oh, speaking of gloss, I am wearing right now Buxom in the shade Sophia. This is one of their lip glosses, full on lip polish lip gloss. I actually got it as part of a 500 point reward from Sephora. Because, you know, we'd be racking up 500 points like that. And, um,. I normally kind of shy away from the brighter pinks and the lighter pinks since I'm, I love, I typically prefer the vampy colors since I'm already chocolatey. But this actually looks pretty cool. And it tingles. Oh yeah, and so this is the uh, Ginger Snap. Oh yeah, that's a great everyday color. I could definitely rock that. All right, so. That's Ulta. Next up, Icing. Icing. All right, so Icing was having a buy three, get three free sale on absolutely everything in the store. So <laughs> we didn't need to buy them, but we could. Look at, oh, 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 let me take the tape off. Look at this. Bitch. Bitch. I 
mean? Look at that. It is so soft. Ah, oh, yes. Powder brush one. Now this I'm really interested in. Or this is really interesting. I'm really interested in. This is a textured sponge. Wait, nope. I learned my lesson the last time. We are not about to rip this bitch off. Nope. Cut, find, find the tape. Here's some scissors. There we go. And then slide it down. Now, isn't that interesting looking? I have no idea what I would use this for, but I wanted it, so I bought it. Third, because I can, we have another crease brush from Icing. Look here, ho, I'm gonna need you. Look, look, come on, you can do it. There, there, there we go, all right, so. Another crease brush because I'm starting to become a big Too Faced fan and none of their sets come with brushes, but we got some. All right, and then number four, an actual little brush set. So this has an angled liner, brow brush, crease, wide shadow brush, a highlighter, and a concealer brush. Like we need more brushes because we do. <clears throat> And then I love this. I love icing because I have sensitive skin and I can't wear jewelry that contains nickel. So I always get my big badass ghetto hoops from icing because theirs are um, nickel free. And they have a line that's called the Sensitive Solutions. Clears does as well too. But if you're one of those that can't wear nickel or anything like that, look into their jewelry. So yeah, big badass earrings. And then, because it made me think of Ashley. It's called a tech pouch. But of course it has a Beyonce quote on here. Fresher than you. Fresher than you. Oh. And I know when I did the what's in my bag video that I didn't really have a put I had like my earbuds in a horrible little Ziploc bag that had been in the bottom of my purse for ages. So now I have a dedicated one and I have a pouch in my purse like Ashley. Yay. And then, because you can never get enough, earring back replacements. Because I literally lose these all the damn time. Or I'll actually keep some in my wallet as a backup. So if I lose some, I have um, a spare or something like that. All right, we did. Okay, we did icing. Next up, went back to H&M and got all kinds of the peel masks. So we have raspberry leaf. We have my favorite Manuka honey. We have tea tree. And then one that I haven't tried yet, um, cucumber and aloe. So with these masks, if you open them up, it literally looks like it's a sauce packet from McDonald's. Peel that open, dip a foundation brush inside, Paint it all over your face. Avoid your eyebrows, for real. Cause it like peeled part of mine off, unfortunately. And I've been having to fill that mud again like forever. So peel it, you know, paint it all over your face, avoid your eyebrows, let it dry. It may take like about 30 minutes for it to completely dry. You may still have a little bit of residue left in there. That's okay. Cause it's only $3.99. Once it completely dries, dry, 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 dry. Once it completely dries, yawn, move your face a little bit because you have to keep completely steel while steel while it dries. Move your face a little bit to loosen it up. Start peeling very slowly from there and you will get all of the dead skin and a couple blackheads if you um, have it at a good enough layer. So we'll get all of that off. I love these. Some peel kits out there um, and microderm abrasion and heavy exfoliation. Some of those cost like 50, 60, $70 from Sephora, but these are $4 each and they work just as well. They're cooling, they smell great and they are spectacular. So I love the mask from H&M. 
then <clears throat> we went to Forever 21. Why? Because I can. So, remember? You may not remember. Um, a while ago, I did... Actually, it might have been a Snapchat exclusive. But I know when I was talking on Snapchat, again, you cannot have pretty makeup with ugly skin. And Forever 21 has some great beauty products too. And they are stupid cheap. So I have a new face brush. And the back of it has a little exfoliation section too. $2.90. I got this makeup tool organizer, $3.90. What? What is life? <clears throat> what else do they have here? Oh, and their mask design has changed a lot since the last time I purchased around. But here is a skin energizing facial sheet mask, $2.90. Got a couple of those. I have an eye mask, which I'm planning to use tonight. Collagen and aloe. That was also $2.90. <clears throat> Got some eyebrow trimming scissors because your brows always have to be on fleek. And then I got this cute little stand-up mirror so that when I'm doing my tutorials, I don't have to look in seven different places. I can actually kind of look in the camera a little bit while holding that. So really excited about that. <clears throat> because it, I was actually surprised to see that this had arrived because it was in <clears throat> a standard box and I'm so used to seeing the big pink, pink pretty one. We're fixing our bra strap. It's okay, these are heavy, you don't mind. But we got goodies from Too Faced. And I'm so sad because the new um, peach palette came out today. Literally, I stayed up as late as I could. It said it was released on St. Patrick's Day, 12.01. I go to uh, Too Faced website. No, it's gotta be 12, it's gotta be St. Patrick's Day, Eastern time. And I'm just like, not Eastern time, Western time. It still said it was two hours later. So I'm like, oh my God, fine, whatever. So I went to sleep, I missed out. Woke up in the morning, went right back to the website. Nope, sold out. Ugh. So I'm going to get that palette and then I'm going to not buy any more eyeshadow for at least three months because it's ridiculous. But that palette, I mean, I like the chocolate bar. I love the chocolate bonbons. I love the, the semi-sweet one. I love the peanut butter jelly palette. But this one, honey, these colors, oh. Go to the website, check it out. And the second I get my hands on one, you will get a tutorial and a review. But in the meantime, over the weekend, Too Faced had a spring sale where stuff was up to 70% off, so why not ball out? So we have a new blushing bronzer. Soulmates, I believe this is Ross and Rachel, I may have bought. Ooh. Yep, it is Ross and Rachel. Check the packaging though, Too Faced. It doesn't smell like anything. But yeah, this is a good deal. I can't, I think this is maybe $15 is when it's normally like 36. So good. But again, Too Faced, I love the packaging. I love the heavy hardware, but give me tools to use these things. Just saying. All right, next up, speaking of tools, <laughs> uh, we have, <clears throat> I hate that you guys put plastic on everything. Your brushes, why, why, why do brushes need plastic on them? Why? Well, never mind. We just looked at a whole bunch of brushes that have plastic on them. All right, so these brushes, these are Too Faced actual shadow brushes since every single palette that they have doesn't actually have any of them. And it gave you, it gives you a crease brush, a lid brush, and a liner brush, or a blender, a smoker, and a smudger. And of course they are forever giving you a guide on how to do this shit. <clears throat> Three of them. I'm excited to use them. We'll see how they work with the uh, 
with the palettes that they have. All right, next up, another lipstick. I was surprised to see I actually bought another lipstick. There we go. So um, another La Creme color drenched lipstick. This is the color Divine Way. And there is a swatch right there. I've gotten all the way to the end of the Too Faced section and then my camera was like, <laughs> just kidding. That's the only thing I don't like about my Samsung camera. It cuts off after 20 minutes of video. Come on, Samsung, give it the times. All right, and then, because I don't need any more foundation, Too Faced Amazing Face. Oil-free close-up coverage foundation. This is in the color Warm Cocoa. Again, I love Too Faced packaging, but come on now. Oh, it's like a, it's a nice little solid bottle. A good foundation color. It'll blend pretty well depending upon um, the lighting and whatnot. And plus, you, you the first couple uses of a foundation anyways, you always want to make sure that you like skip the first pump, bypass that because it's usually just oil or mixed up chemical anyways. <clears throat> Ooh, sample! Too Faced Melted Metal liquefied metallic lipstick in the color melted metallic peony mm. oh, oh, oh. oh yeah that's one of those colors that needs a liner that's pretty though this was a free sample that's a very pretty color, yes. All right. So, thank you, Too Faced. As always, I will be supporting you once that palette comes back in stock. And last but not least, the highlight of my night. No, I didn't need to go there. No, I don't give a fuck. So, <clears throat> as mentioned, I don't need any foundation. Bobby Brown. This is in Warm Almond. Now, Bobby Brown is one of those black owned companies and also colors that are very much brown girl friendly because, you know, they, they want you, <clears throat> they want to support the shades. And at first when it was swatched, the young lady was like, I mean, and then after it oxidized a little bit, it started to blend in very well. Best foundation is one that disappears into your skin. Not makes your skin a whole different shade, it disappears into your skin. That's one reason why I have so many foundations because I am constantly searching for the perfect one. In the summer, I'm usually a little bit darker, so I know what looks good on me in the summertime, what blends well. In the wintertime, I'm lighter, so there's a, I've been going through quite a few trying to figure out what works best for me. But this Bobbi Brown one might be a winner. Got this. Skin Foundation SPF 15. <sighs> Lightweight, water-based. Instantly hydrates and freshens for combination normal and normal to dry skins. Eh, probably shouldn't have got it because I'm not a comp. I'm, I am combination, but I'm super oily and I'm probably even a little bit more oily here in the T zone. And I'm dry right around here because I have dishydrotic eczema. And listen, like I said, you cannot have pretty makeup with ugly skin. The struggle is real. But excited for this one. Speaking of, again, I don't need any more foundation. Makeup forever. 
Matte Velvet Foundation. Now this, with me having oily skin, this is something I'm interested in. I have Makeup Forever's Ultra HD Foundation in a, um, two different shades as well, in like a cognac and then I think maybe a chestnut color, if not darker. But, um, and that's the one that there's something in my eye. I'm going to get it. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, that's the one that I wear in the winter time or in the summertime when I'm a little bit darker. This one, don't let this bottle, frosted bottle deceive you. She still gets down. You know what? Let me put the lid back on when we shape that and not get makeup all over my shirt. So yeah, I like, I, I'm always on the search to find stuff that will, oh hello nurse, I see you, I see you, oh yeah that's gonna be good, we're wearing that one in the morning. Um, I'm always on the search for stuff that will help to minimize oil because I am so very oily. Let's see. She also made me a sample, and I I'm glad they didn't have it because then I would have bought it, of Marc Jacobs Genius Gel Foundation. So I know what color I am in that one as well, too. And then I got a sleeping mask. Now I'm all for the peels. I'm all for wearing masks during the day while you're you know, busy cleaning around the house, but I've never worn a sleeping mask. I'm interested in trying this one tonight. To see how it is. This is the Perfecting and Brightening Mask. It's a pearl one. And then, excuse me for burping. Okay, let's just drink some lemonade. Urban Decay, super saturated, ultra intense, as if they don't need to persuade you more. Like, well, this is super saturated. This is ultra intense. This is fucking awesome. Okay, Urban Decay, we get it. Waterproof Cream Eyeliner. I have been a pen eyeliner girl my entire life. Ever since I played start, picked up any kind of makeup, always some kind of pencil. I only changed over to liquid eyeliner like in my early 20s. I am well into my 30s now and I have never had a cream one. So I'm very excited because from what I've seen, it's pretty much the same precise application, but you can just get a little bit more detail because you're going to be working with an actual angled brush. So we'll see how this goes. I'm going to try that one out tomorrow. And then... Since we be, you know, banking up on these 500 point rewards and everything like that, bye bow. The Rainforest, uh, Rainforest of the Sea Discovery Set. And I, um, this is by Tarte Cosmetics. I am very, very excited to try some of these products as well. <clears throat> I'm not a huge fan of the lipstick color, but you never know. It has a cleansing gel. I'm good for that them some mascara always good for that uh what is the kind of spray is that mist you know let's just let's just open this up guys all right so all right one thing i will disagree with is the fact that their foundations are still too light they are not brown girl friendly at least this particular light line, the Rainforest of the Sea. Now Tarte with the Amazonian clay, with their other foundations, with their powder foundations, they are absolutely great. But this shade selection, where? Try their darkest one, Deep Honey. Nope. So this is definitely going in somebody's package this weekend when I go to the uh, to the post office. <coughs> All right, what is this mist? This is Marine Boosting Mist. What are we boosting? Oh, 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 I wasn't ready. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, wow. Got in my mouth. 
Oh man, that'll boost something. Yeah, I need to look that up and see what the fuck it's supposed to boost. Shit. <laughs> All right, deep dive cleansing gel. We will definitely make use of that. I know I covered on one of their Rainforest of the Sea lipsticks. This color is Beach Bum. And again, I know I, I, I know I talked about the packaging and how the colors are so very pretty between everything. Mm. Okay, let's see what you are. Eh, that's not horrible. That might go in somebody's package too, I don't know. And then, oh, okay. I was like, that's a real, that's a very good deluxe sample of mascara though. All right, I'm down for that. I'm here for that Too Faced. Not Too Faced, tart. Yeah, I'm here for this tart. Lights, camera, lashes. That's what that's called. So that's a good little uh, reward. I'm excited. <clears throat> the highlight of my evening. This is a life goal. I am now a VIB Rouge. I have a red card. I have a certified VIB Rouge status until the end of 2017. What is life? So my welcome gift is a NARS blush, limited edition NARS blush, that only Rouge members are able to, if they wanted the full size one, only Rouge members are able to get that. It's one of those exclusive shades. Unlimited free makeovers. <clears throat> First access to special products and offers. Free shipping on Sephora.com. A private concierge number. Exclusive events. Um, what else? Really? It's huh. a whole lot of money to spend in the year. And I can also give somebody a free 45 minute makeover so yeah i was so excited to receive that and even though i've actually loki have been rouge for about i think what three weeks now but i didn't get the welcome kit when i went i don't know why but <clears throat> so yeah there's that and so there's that yeah that's all i got um, so again, swatches. All right, so I'm about to eat this new spicy Southwest salad from Chick-fil-A. Wait for this video to upload and render, type up a paper, and then take my black ass to bed. As usual, if you have any requests, if you have any questions, tips, feedback, whatever, hit me in the comments. I appreciate you watching me ramble and tolerating my makeup obsession, as usual. Look for new videos to come here within the next upcoming weeks. And until then, have a wonderful day. <laughs>